it is important for an individual to make every effort to maintain brahmacharya without any voluntary break. This is especially crucial after achieving an unbroken period of brahmacharya beyond several months. Such periods of brahmacharya are a result of divine grace and blessings, and voluntarily breaking it is akin to failing the Lord despite His blessings. Those who have successfully practiced unbroken brahmacharya for over a year, without any voluntary discharge of semen through artificial means or sexual activity, should never go back to their former lifestyle of recreational sexuality. Instead, they should lead a life based on yoga, eat moderate amounts of food, perform adequate physical and mental activity for transmutation, and regularly indulge in pranayama and meditation. Reverting to a former lifestyle of recreational sexuality after long periods of brahmacharya can result in unforeseen problems at the physical, mental, and karmic levels. Achieving an unbroken state of brahmacharya for months or even a year is not something one can attain through personal efforts, but rather, it is a result of God's grace and blessings. Only a few individuals are selected by the divine to achieve this state of unbroken practice beyond a year. Therefore, voluntarily breaking and, more importantly, reverting to an earlier lifestyle by abandoning brahmacharya, amounts to a reversal of what was destined by divine will for the chosen aspirant. Although rare, those who revert to their former mode of recreational sexuality put themselves in great peril due to the karmic sin they accrue. It is impossible to say what may be the repercussions of such a reversal in lifestyle, for the results could be multidimensional in their dangers. Hence, it is a state of affairs to be avoided at all costs. If there is an unfortunate break in one's practice of brahmacharya, one who has been blessed by the Lord to succeed in long periods of brahmacharya should immediately continue with his practice without a second thought. However, he should never, under any circumstances, revert to his earlier mode of sexual life and abandon brahmacharya. Breaking brahmacharya voluntarily can have severe consequences on an individual's mental and emotional state, leading to depression, disorientation, and a sense of losing oneself. The magnitude of pain that one experiences depends on the duration of unbroken brahmacharya practiced. The longer the duration, the greater the repercussions. If a break occurs, one should analyze and atone for their mistake and ensure that they don't repeat it. Brahmacharya should be resumed immediately, without repeating the acts that caused the break. Usually, when a break happens, it's because the aspirant was indulging in some mistakes. The Almighty generally allows one to continue further after long periods of brahmacharya, as achieving a year of unbroken brahmacharya is not an accident but the result of the grace of the Lord. However, there is an exception to this rule. When a brahmachari gets married and plans to have children, sexual contact with their spouse is allowed under the blessings of God, with the intention of progeny. Once the child is born, the brahmachari can then resume the practice of unbroken brahmacharya. It is crucial to note that breaking brahmacharya voluntarily should be avoided at all costs, especially after achieving long periods of unbroken practice. If a break occurs, one should strive hard to resume their practice immediately and avoid reverting to their former life of recreational sexuality. This is of utmost importance.